I'm gonna say it. I think New Jeans has the potential to be the next biggest group in K-pop. They are a new movement of Gen Z nostalgia. They don't let unattainable beauty shots get in the way of telling an authentic, realistic story. Hi, I'm Jordan, a pro music video editor. Let's break down Ditto's A and B sides from a filmmaking and storytelling perspective. Ooh, directed by Usok Sheen. Let's go. Contrast creates focus, let me tell you. The way they just lull you to sleep and then push, smack you in the face, that's fantastic editing. I'm saving the most mind-blowing stuff to the end of this video, where we're gonna fully break down the meaning behind these music videos. This music, something about this just feels like a super artsy film. The music, just the way it creeps in, it's so nostalgic and like, I am already feeling emotional and I feel like I'm just seeing random clips, but the clips feel so authentic, so real life. It's nothing I've ever seen before in K-pop. Did you see how the music right there in that section cut out? You're having like this little fun, jiggy little dance. And then right when the music changes, right when the sound changes, that tells the audience, guys, pay attention. This is what's really important. And we see you. We've got a little interest. There is so much to talk about already, this is nuts. One thing I wanna note that is gonna come back later at the end of this video is the fact that we haven't seen our main character's face. Our main character's name is Bunhisu and we haven't seen her face like at all, except for we have one eye shot. And the one thing I also wanna talk about in that section is that the editing is very non-realistic. The images are cut very sporadically in time and there is no continuity whatsoever. And that makes it feel a little bit more like a memory. You know, memories don't always make sense. It feels very dreamlike. Like this moment's real, but then he's all of a sudden walking away, and then she's like, he's back, and then he's, she's standing up. Literally, memories are part of the lyrics, and that's why it was chosen to be edited in that way. So it's like it's all in her head, which is something that's also gonna come back later. And the editing created that. It's so cool that you can do that. They're just hitting it at the top of the class. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What does it say? Bang honey, you eating bread? That's what the subtitle said. I can't read Korean. <laughs> Oh, it looks like they're like making up a dance. Bro, 
This is like an anti-K-pop K-pop music video. The first thing that sticks out to me is the fact that it looks like they're just made up the dance. And you can see that because the dance is not perfect at all. The editor and the director, they're choosing shots that don't look good on purpose because it serves the story. Normally K-pop videos, they would do a million takes to make sure the dancing is perfect and everything is just gorgeous and beautiful. And this one reflects Gen Z values of authenticity where they don't freaking care. They just want something real. And I love that. <laughs> Like the dance is so simple. Everything about the song is so simple. It's, they're not trying too hard, and that's what's so refreshing. Guys, I have something really cool to show you. Okay, watch this. What is that? Jordan, turn that freaking off. The, the video is gonna get blocked, bro. Turn it off. Turn, turn it off. Look at that, Jordan. The video is still here. Normally, if you would play that song in a YouTube video, it would get blocked or demonetized. But I've licensed this top 50 track with a super dope company called Licked. It's an editor's dream. Licked has the world's biggest mainstream licensable music catalog. Plus, it has 100,000 stock songs for any situation. Oh, and remember this song from my video, The Best Music Videos of 2022? Guess what? I could make a reaction and not get copyright claimed. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> what? I can license songs from artists like Drake, Cardi B, Lizzo, Imagine Dragons, Sam Smith. And mainstream music has literally been proven to make your audience watch longer and engage more with your content. And when people watch your videos, your edits, and they recognize the song, it, you know, it gives them like a nice familiar feeling. They're like, oh, I know that song. And I like it. Sign up to Licked with my link and get 14 days of free stock music, plus get 50% off your first mainstream chart track. facts bro you got to get the snacks if you get the snacks and that's on facts like you'll be eating guys i'm sorry <laughs> like the dancing so, so i love it she's having so much fun I mentioned before Gen Z authenticity. I feel personally that Gen Zers, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm right on the cusp, really value authenticity as one of the top priorities. And this music video captures authenticity so well in every single way, the way it's edited, the way it's shot, the VHS, everything is very gritty, doesn't look perfect, the costumes, even the way they look. I haven't seen one beauty shot. That's like a K-pop staple. And the symbolism is nuts, and I can't wait to get into more of that. I want you so, want you so say it okay, so we have a great friendship established with new jeans. Dude, this is one of the longest shots I've ever seen. If you have a long shot in editing, that communicates more authenticity because every time you cut, you actually are lying. You're saying this isn't reality. Reality is getting interrupted. How long was it, bro? Let's count. 25 to 40, that's a 15 second shot. That is unheard of in music videos. And they only cut when they have to. And the reason that they didn't cut is because the shot was never boring. Once the shot became boring, once it seemed like there was not any new information getting communicated, they cut. We're gonna get to that later. We have Banhisu in the couch right here, and then we fade to this shot 
using a fade really helps us connect the two images because the cut happens at a slower pace. And then we reveal that there's a fawn right behind her. And a fawn symbolizes innocence and purity and youth. They remind us to be protective and gentle of those who are younger and to respect their process to growing and evolving into an adult. So it sounds like this is a coming of age story. But the way that they used editing and camera and cinematography to connect our main character with New Jean's two innocence is absolutely incredible. Oh frick, she is by herself. So it seems like new jeans are imaginary friends in her life. They're not physically there. And the way that this outro was edited was stupid. The way it started slow, they used contrast. We were on that fingernail shot and we were just holding on it for a long time. It was silence and they used that same technique where they started adding in sound and building on the sound and getting it louder and louder and louder until that rain shot where it was just chaos. And we realized how alone she must feel if she's just pointing cameras at nothing and looking a little bit interesting to her friends. And the craziest part about this is that the story story is only halfway over, so let's get to B-side. Oh man. Dude, the vocals and just the music is so nostalgic and like creepy, but like dark, but beautiful. It's a lovely, lovely combination. Now we know the plot twist information that anytime we see new jeans, they're not really there. That's not reality. And so the editor decided to remind the audience that right at the beginning of the second MV, where they show the shot with new jeans and then they show it again with nobody in it because that's reality. A fantastic way to communicate just with the art of editing. Like, oh, it's, so <laughs> it's so good. We kind of saw her face right there. So remember, she's really interested in this boy, and she has been for a long time. And that's what the editor's reminding us of in the story. So where before she was filming new jeans a ton in the A-side, she's now turning her attention a little bit more towards the boy. Now since this is a coming of age story, it's almost like this is a new era. She's growing up. She's not as into new jeans as she was. She's now looking towards other things to occupy her time. It's that feeling when you first start to be in love and you're like, oh, I'm not hanging out with my friends anymore. I'm hanging out with my boyfriend, with my girlfriend. That's what's happening. But New Jeans is still here. They're still doing their little dance. Dude, I love all the VHS footage. It feels so sick. We love a match cut on motion. We got the same framing and the same dance moves. Honestly, spinning match cuts can be done in almost any music video if there's any kind of dancing. So I'm not surprised we don't see it more in K-pop, but when it's just randomly shot like this, it's a lot easier to make happen, actually. Ooh! She tickles me <laughs> in the best way. So her cast isn't actually written on. That was all in her imagination. <laughs> I love this story. <laughs> I 
love these shots. The way that this is shot is unlike anything I've ever seen in K-pop. This music video is actually providing real emotion. Like I'm actually feeling something deep in my heart. Everybody has grown up and the feeling of growing up is just so freaking weird. And that's why there's so many movies and TV shows that are coming of age films. And it's universally relatable. It's like her cast is the pain of being in adolescence. You know, it's very uncomfortable. There's just so many things I could go into. Okay, but we got to keep watching. I love how the editor showed her dropping it and then they immediately cut to all of this like happy footage. We know that the camera is falling in our heads and we see the value that it holds literally. <laughs> and then we cut to it broken. It's just so much more heartbreaking. Okay. There's now been a turning point in the story. Now that she dropped the camera, she's letting go of all of her good memories with New Jeans. She's moved on, she's grown up now. Where before they would go and walk out in the rain with her, she's going by herself. So good. That's the exact same section of the song too where they were showing the fawn before. And they also didn't do that camera move. They had a choice to do that same camera move, but they decided to not do it on purpose. And she's crying and we see both of her eyeballs. It's, and now she's with the boy. Cutting two images together can create so much symbolism and this video does it so well. They showed a wide shot where she's with the boy. She has a boyfriend now and the fawn walks out. Her innocence, her youth, it just leaves. She's not hanging out with new jeans anymore. It's not like a youthful imaginary friend group. Ugh, I'm getting so emotional. It's so sad. So this is Banhisu when she's older, and she popped in the VHS footage to watch it again. It's like they're back. Does anybody have like those little boxes of just stuff from when you were younger? Just like a little shoe box or something? There's like a lot of pain packed in that box. Like she was wearing the cast when she was younger, but now when she's older, she opens up that box and she pops in that footage. And she remembers all the good times that she had when she was younger with new jeans. Even though she's moved past it, she can look back on the memories with fondness. And this is the craziest part. This is a music video about what it's like to be a K-pop fan and how new jeans relates with their fans. The reason that they don't show Banisu's face is because she could be any of us. And her name is Banisu because the fandom name is called Bunnies. And it sounds, you know, Banisu, Bunnies, it kind of sounds similar. And the reason that she only saw them through a screen, literally on her TV or on her camcorder, that's when she saw them is because when we watch K-pop, we watch it on a screen. They're not physically there, but that's how we connect with them. And they make us feel like we can be friends with them. That's just the idol fan relationship. And lots of times when you get older, you grow out of K-pop. That's just the reason reality of it. But even when you're older, you can always go back, you can always go watch some of those old nostalgic groups that you've watched, and you can remember all the good memories. You can be like, I liked these guys. And New Jeans says ditto. Stay 